Another feature of IntelliJ that I want to look at is called refactoring. And most other IDs have something similar. It's nothing new. But again, it's really handy. And unless you know it's there, you may approach this problem a different way and not realize there's an easier solution to this. So let's take a look at this example. We have this developer class that we used before. And we have this field called email address. And let's just say that we wanted to rename email address to email. This isn't a huge class, so we could probably get by by just kind of doing this ourselves, right? But what if other classes were using this class and referencing email? So they would call get email address. We could leave those getters and setters alone, but that's not really what we want to do. We want to rename the email address field and the getters and setters and kind of refactor our application based on this change. So what I'm going to do is actually highlight the email address. If I right click on it and go to refactor and rename, this will go ahead and kind of give us a cursor here and allow us to type something else. So I'm just going to type email. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to say that the getters and setters for this, we do want to rename those as well. And I want to say yes. It's going to say, hey, you have a constructor here with a parameter. We don't need to rename this, but I might as well stay consistent. And again, there may be a bunch of other issues that it, it wants you to either check or not check. And based on your choices there, it's going to change some code. So we're going to click OK. Before it actually does it, it's going to give you this refactoring preview. And what this is going to do is go across your application and kind of let you know where all the uses of this are. And you want to look through this and make sure that you're OK with changing these. In my case, I'm really just changing them here in this field, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to say, go ahead and do refactor. And there we go. Our email address has been changed to email. You can see it in the constructor. You can see it in our getters and setters. You can see it in our equals and hash code. And you can also see it here in our toString. So that's a good way to go ahead and do this. But if you wanted to just do a quick and easy way to kind of change something in one class, you could do this as well. So if you go ahead and highlight and you hit Control G, it's going to look for every instance where that is. So it's just going to start selecting them for you. And it's going to go through and select all of them for you. And then with that, we have multiple cursors now. And this is good for other kind of changes within your class, not just renaming a field, but I'm just using this as an example. But now we can go ahead and change this to just first. And you see it went ahead and changed that everywhere. So now we have still have a get first name because that first, it was looking for uh, lowercase f. Not a big deal, but just something called multiple cursors, which you can use to select multiple of the same thing within just this file alone. So I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit of making your job easier when you need to change or refactor your code. And again, that's IntelliJ really helping us be a more productive developer. So I hope you enjoyed that. With that, let's move on to the next tip.